What's up everybody? I got this project I wanted to share with you guys. I'm converting my 24 gun safe from digital to mechanical. I know normally people, you know, convert them from mechanical to digital, but I just, at this point, I prefer a, just the old school dial lock. This one, uh, first, this is the second lock I had on the safe. The first one failed. Didn't want to recognize the combination. I couldn't get it open. I had to have a guy come out and pick it. He put a new lock on it for me, you know, keypad set up and something short an hour on it, it it loses a battery every week or two. I gotta put a battery in, it's just annoying. The wires I replaced several times, now I gotta hold them together. To, I gotta hold the wires together, my wife's gotta punch the code and it's just ridiculous. So I'm just gonna go to an old school, I guess you call it old school, been around forever, Sergeant Greenleaf lock setup. And uh, I gotta do some converting on the inside. So you can see this, I'll show you how the, how they set this thing up, it's kind of ridiculously cheap, but it's what I could afford at the time. So right now the safe would be, yeah, this is just unhooked here. So right now the safe would be locked. And you can see this piece of steel doesn't come by this. It's crazy how they did this, but it is what it is. And um, punch your code in and it activates that solenoid, the pin sucks in, and then you can cam that open. So I'm just gonna be mounting my combination setup mechanical setup here and then I'm just gonna have to fabricate some stuff I'll show you how I, I do it along the way but all right I got my lock opened up this is my uh, mechanism that's gonna get mounted on the inside and then this is the backing plate I got the setup that it's uh, the privacy one to kind of hide some of the numbers and my dials here um, it looks like in order to gain some clearance for the, uh, sorry to keep shaking around here. The, the way the setup was on the electronic, like it looks like it was almost this whole hair was maybe set up in, you know, maybe they came through at the factory for, uh, you know, they were putting either a combo on it or uh, I'm sorry, mechanical or digital. I believe but, this is what the gentleman told me to do, which was the mounting screw for the digital setup is going to be for my spindle in the middle. And it, you know, it, it covers the bottom one. I'm not worried about it. And then I'll just have to drill and tap some new holes for the mounting of this guy. And uh, we'll be good to go. It's kind of cool because it's like it's already spotted because of the, the way the mount was on the digital setup. So I got a nice pilot. Just blow through that with whatever this hole requires. I'm reading the instructions now. And then I just got to drill and tap some holes on the inside to mount it. The actual lock setup mechanism. And then I could figure out how to get the combo set up and get that thing working before I adapt this to where I got to be with it. All right, locks in place, came out good. There's uh, four mounting screws on the inside of this uh, lock assembly. You had to drill and tap quarter 20 to get those on. And then just your through hole for the spindle. It's all in the instructions. There's tons of videos on YouTube about these locks. We're not gonna get into that. This video is to show you guys how I'm going to link this bolt catch the way the bolt system used to work on the solenoid for the electronic lock how i'm going to link that to the uh, brass arm on this lock assembly so <clears throat> i do a little bit of fabricate and i got some angle iron i'm going to get in there and make a little bracket or something weld it to the other piece here and i definitely think it's doable so i'm gonna get going on that
All right, got it all welded in. I think it came out nice. You know, it's simple, but it works. I just welded these two angle pieces. I milled my slot, as you've seen on the my bridge port. You, you could do that by hand if you had to with a, a carbide burr, maybe in a drill. Just won't look as pretty, but it works. I just oversized it a little bit around to get clearance on it, so nothing's binding. Um, locked, not going up and down. I got my last number dialed in on my combination, so. For instructions you turn to the right about 90 uh 90 degrees i guess and it opens it up allows the bolt work to work opens the door close it spin the lock and it locks it back up i don't see that failing anytime but it's what i can come up with i like it so now it's time to paint this thing all right sanding this thing down with some 220 getting it ready for the paint uh, i'm not trying to make it perfect just gotta give it a quick makeover I'm gonna two-tone the safe. I'm gonna paint the door a metallic gray, some paint I had left over from a fender repair in my wife's car. And then the rest of the safe will be a matte black. I'm gonna uh, paint the door first, base coat, clear coat, mask it off, and then paint the rest of the safe. Figured that'd be easier than spraying the safe first and then trying to do the door. So here goes the, the gray here, I guess you can call it. Goes out pretty good. I'm spraying this thing in some cold weather here, so I'm just, it is what it is on the finish on this guy. So I think it'll be all right though. A couple coats of that, we'll clear it, mask it off, and then here goes the black. So this is a uh, street rod black. I get this uh, product from a friend of mine that runs a local paint store. I'll try to leave a link in the description. So if anybody wants to buy this stuff, it's pretty cool. It's uh, you could spray it directly over metal and just, it's easy. Three to one, mix it up and spray it. It comes out good. I'm actually quite happy how the finish came out on this thing for just doing it so fast. So. All right, everybody, that's it for the safe project video. My wife made us some uh, vinyl, got our name on it now, and a nice flag. Got it back upstairs. That was fun, but we got it. Uh, I'm happy with the way it came out. I got a nice mechanical lock on it now. Painted the way we like it. Happy with it. Took an uh, inexpensive Chinese safe and made it a little better than what it was. So, time to load it up again. Thanks for watching.